In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to customize Fortnite toys into G.I. Joe figures with only one tool, your imagination. And welcome to my side of the laundry room. My name's Rob, and in this episode, we're going to talk about how you can turn Fortnite toys into G.I. Joe figures. And it's one of the easiest ways that you can customize and create a whole new universe for your Joes. As I said, all you need is your imagination. I have a couple examples of how you can customize the Fortnite figures and bolster your ranks for Joe, Cobra, the Dreadnoughts, Iron Grenadiers, anything. Some people might say it's cheating, but if you're having fun, nothing is off limits, and that's what counts. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some of the examples that I have prepared. Okay, let's kick things off with the Fortnite character, or skin, or whatever you want to call it, Spider Knight. You can see here how he gets his name, because he has multiple eyes on his helmet. Pretty cool. Great. And he also has a spider motif here on his chest. Now, we're going to ignore the spider aspects of him. And let me point out, he has this awesome little dagger here on the side. It doesn't come out. I mean, pretty much these represent the skins that you buy. And when you buy a skin, you can't use things like that, which is unfortunate. But anyway... And let me add, for the price to buy a skin for the game, you can buy one of these action figures. So, I'm more apt to do that than ever buy skins for the game. And I'm horrible at the game, so I don't want to spend any money on it. Anyway, looking at this character, and mind you, I got these for my birthday. So, it wasn't until after the fact that I started putting it together that I could turn these into G.I. Joe figures. You don't have to do much. I mean, they're articulated the same. They're the same scale of the 25th anniversary figures. They are a little bit taller than the original figures, but they are on scale with the 25th anniversary, which is cool, and pretty much had the same articulation and made the same way. So, anyway, what I was saying was, looking at this guy, the first thing that popped into my head while thinking about G.I. Joe was how Destro is not afraid to use magic and witchcraft and things, because it runs in his family, to obtain his goals. And there is an old episode where Cobra... Uh, resurrected the ghosts of like there was like a World War One fighter pilot, uh, a Roman centurion. I forget maybe I forget what the third one was. So please forgive me. But I thought, wouldn't that be cool if Destro tried that again, but tried to anchor one of these ghosts to a suit of armor, and in Castle Destro, there are suits of armor from his family just hanging around. And what if he were to resurrect a ghost of an ancient family member, a great warrior of the McCullen or Destro family? So, that's what I thought. And I thought I would rename him the Iron Knight. and make him part of the Iron Grenadiers. Now I went through my accessories box and I found this sword. Now it's a little big, but why not? I mean, he's an awesome warrior, so he can use this huge sword. Doesn't need guns because he's a magic being. And so let's set him here 
and then bring in the Iron Grenadier Destro. As you can see, they're on scale to each other. And it looks kind of cool. I mean, just to have this dude standing behind him, acting on his every whim. I mean, he could be a like a brainless ghost, or he could be intelligent and tell him how to win battles and things. I mean, why not? So, I teamed him up with the Iron Grenadiers, and he's an ancestor of Destro's. I'm going to pop in a graphic of what file card could look like or the packaging in the file card. So I'm happy about that and he's now in the ranks of the Grenadier, Iron Grenadier Army. Next is this guy, and his name is Ruckus. First thing when I see him is Dreadnought. I mean, everything about him screams Dreadnought. As I said, his name was Ruckus, and I'm going to rename him Noxious. Yo, Joe! As in, like, poisonous gases. And, you know, you have your dreadnoughts that use chainsaws and jaws of life and bladed guns. But he's going to use this. And I shall make it a gas gun. Now this gun came with one of the new Batman figures that are out there. I picked up the Man Bat figure and it came with this gun. And I have this extra canister from 25th Anniversary Buzzer. I'm going to put that on the back where you can keep his extra poisonous gas. Now, the backstory I thought up of him is that he comes from Mattoon, Illinois. Now, what's significant about Mattoon, Illinois is there was a cryptozoology case or an unexplained case in the 1940s, I think 1944, of someone or something called the Mad Gasser. And people's homes were being gassed with something that would knock them out, make them nauseous, all sorts of things. And I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool if he took inspiration from that, or it was someone in his family long ago, a grandfather, great-grandfather, and he's carrying on the family legacy of being a mad gasser, if you will. So, noxious. Controller of Poison Gases. Got his mask, gas mask here, the awesome hair. I mean, just like Thrasher with his green tint to it. So, I turned this character into Noxious, the Dreadnought. And let's put him next to some of the Dreadnoughts. Just so we see how he looks next to the rest of them. I mean, he looks a little bit more bulkier than they do, which is okay. I mean, everybody's built differently. But I would, I could see him 
fighting alongside of them, riding a motorcycle with them, causing mischief, attacking anybody that gets in their way. So, in my universe, in my basement, in my laundry room, he is now a dreadnought. So we'll put him over there. Now, the last one was a character that I absolutely love in the game. Of course, like I said, I won't spend any money for it, but I love it. And the challenge was to come up with a creative and fun use of him within the confines of the G.I. Joe universe. And that is the Fortnite character, Peely. Now, first off, we have an Iron Grenadier, a Dreadnought, so two Cobras. So, I had to make him a G.I. Joe. And what better way than... And I gave him the stereotypical G.I. Joe laser gun. Just to show that he's down with Joe. And this ticks me off. A little bit of the cardboard from the packaging got glued to his foot here so I gotta clean that off but anyway Peely as you can see is a banana very cute I love it but how do you turn this into a G.I. Joe character well that's actually very easy now we're dealing with G.I. Joe where we have Dr. Mindbender who has created a Homonocles made from the greatest conquerors and emperors DNA. In the toy line, he even created mutant creatures that turned into werewolves or were undersea creatures. And he also messes with people's DNA to make them be able to breathe water and handle pressures of space. So, I mean, he's a mad scientist. Mad scientist practicing with bananas. I mean, there's a... I doubt it's real, but an urban myth that says b bananas share DNA with us to begin with. I haven't checked that factoid out, but I've heard it a few times. And like I said, I think it's an urban myth. But anyway, maybe that's what spurned Dr. Mindbender to start experimenting on bananas and to create a humanoid banana. But unfortunately for Dr. Mindbender, this banana didn't want to do evil. He wanted to work with G.I. Joe. So after G.I. Joe shut down one of Dr. Mindbender's labs, he went with them. And of course, he went through a full rigmarole of tests and training to become the banana that you see today. And his code name is Slapstick. Yo, Joe! I know that might be silly, but let's look at some of the other code names that we have floating around. I'm not going to name names, but some of them are a little silly, so let's just throw that out and say it works. Now, what could a banana named Slapstick be good at? Well, let's say espionage. He's good at setting traps. He's good at tracking. Well, I mean, we're going to cash in on the whole Slapstick. He's probably not going to throw down bananas as traps, but he could trap people. And maybe there's a different name for it in the military but all I could think of was espionage because he's going on the battlefield or behind the scenes and causing disruptions with different traps and different devices so meet the newest member of my G.I. Joe team Slapstick Anyway, set him there. 
Anyway, back to me. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. It's just really fun to harness your imagination, and to team that up with G.I. Joe is just beautiful. Now, I know there's probably a lot of people that would find this blasphemous, especially with a character like Slapstick, but it's all about the fun of it. It's all about when, I know I do, set up my figures and play for a little bit, just to escape the real world for a couple minutes. I like adding stuff like that in. To this day, I still mix different genres and brands, like I did as a kid. As a kid, I didn't have a lot of one toy over another, so I had to pretend that a stormtrooper of some sort was actually a Cobra officer, or Luke was actually the newest member of G.I. Joe. I still like playing like that, and these figures, I haven't felt this fun and imaginative with toys in a very long time. And I recommend any of you out there that collect G.I. Joe or anything else, mix it up a little bit. It is a lot of fun. I mean, could I have customized these and slapped stickers on them and painted them and stuff to make them more in tune with G.I. Joe? I could have tried. I mean, I'm not the best. But just your imagination and a backstory is enough sometimes. Anyway, let me know if any of you have any Fortnite figures and how you play with them. Or if you just collect them for Fortnite itself. Or if you do mix them in to another toy line like G.I. Joe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And I'm excited to hear how you all play with your Fortnite figures if you mix them up with G.I. Joe, or if there's any other awesome things that you love throwing in the mix. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.